Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and there's a thrilling atmosphere here tonight because the team that is home was on the road, and they got the split in the first two games away. Is there a caution for the home team in this one? Well, I think there is, Doc, because I think they accomplished their goal. Yes, you'd like to win the first two games on the road in a playoff series, but realistically, if you can come home 1-1 you've accomplished that goal now you have to reassess now you have the home ice and see if you can take advantage of winning one of those first two games on the road the Golden Knights have the momentum in this series now they have their crowd behind them the coaching staff will get the matchups they want which will give them the opportunity to take a lead in this series okay so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game the nature of the playoffs is somebody loses. He gets another chance to not lose, but win tonight. From a win last game, we'll try to keep playoff momentum with this game. What are these two teams going to bring us? Let's just see. Carlson's a good face-off man, ready for the Golden Knights. Couture's opposite him for the Sharks. Cut that pass in his own end. On to Pavelski. A point hammer shot. Got the save there. Passing one off now to Smith. Canes that offensive line. San Jose's leading through mid-ice. Poke checked away. He can start some danger here. To Smith. Vegas looks up from the wing. Let's a shot go. Wonderful stop. Shot on. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Let's it go. Score! Off the iron and in. Well, they jumped up on the bench beside me pretty quickly here. Very excited on the one side to have the game's first goal. That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. The Sharks with a center ice faceoff win. Number 71, William Carlson, assisted by number 81. Shoots one. Turned aside with a pass. Goal. The Golden minutes. Knights up the wing are moving the puck. Seconds. Gathered up again by Dillon. Ahead on that left wing to Donskoy. One on one. They score! And they've tied the game up. Oh, that was a critical goal. Now the game is tied, and we'll see who can get the upper hand in the next few minutes. The Sharks with a win at center. Scored by number 48, Thomas. Driving in from no man's land. Number 27, Jonas Donskoy. Shoots. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. He had his eye on the puck the whole time. What a stop. That puck left the zone, and so everybody will have to reset. Oh, look at this. He's alone. Can they catch him? What a reaction save. Rister. The shot is off. I love when the game is like this. Everybody has to think. Everybody has to react. Score!
Oh, you knew this goal was going to be huge. This game has been tied and hard fought. The Golden Knights have broken the tie. Perhaps they can build on this lead here in the first period. The Sharks from the neutral zone start to work. By number 67, Max Shoots one. He got ironed with that one. Pretty hard to shoot the puck much better than that. Where they really could have used the bounce, they don't get one. The puck rings off the pipe. Critical win where they need it. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. I once had a coach tell me, hit or be hit. There is an example of getting yourself into the game. They've got a two-on-one. He's right in. Score! And this one is tied. We came into the game, guys, thinking these teams were evenly matched. Now we've played some of this contest, and here we are back at a stalemate. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. And a save. All a part of generating an offense, a little pass off from the goal. Pitched right ahead through center. Rister from the slot. Great save. Controlling, but he's under pressure. Looking to Smith. And he lets it go. Routine save. Right winged to Pavelski. He's got this one. He's got to hurry. Drives ahead. Oh, remarkable save. No sale on the old fake out. Vegas got a minor penalty. Two minutes for charging. You could skate to make the hit, but you must glide and then make contact. The Sharks are going to get their first opportunity on the power play right now. Always important to win the Vegas special teams the battle, or at the very least, come out even. Tries to get it on net. Save. Gathered up again by Ike. Good defensive play, hand to eye and center ice. They've got an on man rush, so they want to keep it simple. Great opportunity denied. And so period one comes to a close. Both teams struck twice, so a little confidence offensively for both of these squads. Period two will be forthcoming. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating a birthday tonight, go to our guest services booth, and they'll see their name up on our big screen. The Sharks, the on the strength of this game-tying goal, have gotten this contest back even, and maybe they're the team with the edge as we go to break. Power play goes back to work here as the period begins. What a heavy hit. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. With a shot. Made that stop. Terrific determination by Eakin. Shot deflected. Snapping a pass to Aiken. Scooped up. The Golden Knights have killed off the penalty. Penalty box is empty for them. Breaks away. Say. A little pass from his goalie here. Crosses that line. Flings it. Nice save with the glove. Chipped down. Trying to go to hurdle. Cuts between the blue lines. Alone. An aggressive poke check on the breakaway. 
Vegas carrying on up the wing. Shoots one. Goes back deep for it. Breaks free. Say. The Golden Knights have it up the wing. Skilled play by Paul Stastny. Score! excited here they've broken the tie they've got the lead but now you have to concentrate and get right back down to work Vegas has grabbed the lead here by just a single goal so let's see who wins this next faceoff and maybe a goal can come from it a faceoff win let's see what develops Paul Stastny assisted by number Look out of the zone and so they'll regroup the Golden Knights with possession in the defensive zone. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Shoots. He was standing in the lane and got some up. Glides along the line. Terrific defensive work. Pitching it to Burns. The Sharks with possession in their own end. Breakaway. Comes up big on the breakaway. Shoots it off. Oh, a close call there. Well, that's a good scoring chance. He's trying to be too fine, trying to pick the corner. Sometimes you've just got to shoot it at the middle of the net. A solo rush. Vegas wheels it up the wing. Shoots. He wore that puck on a hard shot. A shot. Score! Two in a row. No hesitation at all. He fired home that wrist shot. Jones gets beaten cleanly here up over the glove. He thinks he's in good enough position by dropping into the butterfly. I guess not. The Golden Knights have built a two-goal lead now. Do they keep attacking, or do they lay back and just wait for the end of the period? San Jose's got possession from the faceoff. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Swept aside. San Jose's along the wing at center ice. In the slot. Here he's skating out of his own end. Gains the zone. He throws it there. Got a piece of that one. The Sharks through in all alone. What artistry with the stick there. Turned a shot on net. May not have intended it, but it hit him. A great wrist shot. And a save. Good jab with the stick there. Just couldn't find the target. 40 minutes have been played. Some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer to the start of the third period and crunch time. Let's check out the shots on goal through these two periods. 21 for the Sharks and 11 for Vegas. McNabb's goal looks pretty big now because that lead is two. Something to build on as the intermission has arrived. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? The Sharks come into this period down on the scoreboard because they've turned over the puck way too many times. They'll need to tighten up their playmaking if they want to generate scoring chances. Offside stops the clock. He won't avoid something for doing that. 
Whoa, now in the code, that means there might be something going on here, at least. And so we've got a fight, sort of. One has refused, but another steps in. That's gonna build some team camaraderie. You love when a player sticks up for another. And out of all of this, both receive fighting majors. A little more enthusiasm from the home team as they've won this bout. This fight's mercifully ended for the visitors. The home crowd is ecstatic. They're making all kinds of noise. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. On the outside, a shot. Hits the post. Carlson's not able to score. He got the post with that one. His wrist shot was heavy and quick. Jones can't stop enough of this shot, Edzo. He makes the save, or at least he thinks he does. It still works its way through. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Shoots one. Took care of that one. Foley is one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. A backhand shot. He's alone. Right in front. He shuts him right down. Outstanding point blank save. Equal to the challenge. Nice stop. Give that goalie credit for another. Moving it to Pavelski. Oh, he's got this one, but can they catch up to him? Stared him down and made the save. Vegas in possession, moving it up the wing. And now it's directed to Donskoy. Odd man rushes, here's one, let's see. Great save. Save! The Golden Knights skated up on the side. And a save! Pitching this one to Donskoy. Carries it on in from center. It's just him! Score! They're back to within two now. He had that look of no doubt he was going to score on that breakaway. Whoa, it looks like his trapper's got a hole in it there, Edzo. He gets beat low to the glove side. San Jose's deficit is now just two. Third period, still time to go. Let's go, guys. San Jose goal, scored by Vegas Nevada. charges up from the wing. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. And here's Ray. Jones has had a rotten night. Almost any shot that has come at him, he's juggled. He's really struggled with rebound control. This has been a poor night. Seriously, can this guy get in front of something? Yeah, there are several there he'd want to have back, wouldn't he, Ray? Good face-off win. He saw it coming and he got in the way. Skates it into the zone. Right in front. Quick wrist shot. Save there. That one's to him from his goaltender. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Brings the shot. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Outstanding body contact. Better tighten up the brain bucket. Not afraid to get physical here tonight. Great work with the stick by Braun. Puck is thrown to Nyquist. 
gathered up by Aiken. Nicely into the zone. Gets behind the net. Does he have anybody in front? Good place to shoot from. Wonderful stop. It's always way more fun when there's lots of goals in the game. The players like it. Well, the offensive ones do. The defensive ones aren't so crazy about it. But I will tell you who hates it. It's the coaches. They always want to have some control of the game. Just over three minutes to go. It seemed like a three-goal lead was going to be enough. It's less enough now. That lead has dwindled to two, and there's still a goalie pull possibility. Can start the attack going in the zone. Fires. That puck was obstructed by a screen. But they'll have to drop back as this has been cleared out by Eric Carlson. Puck sent down the ice. Icing is called as it has been in this circuit since the late 1930s. And if you wonder why it's introduced, you can blame the New York Americans, but they're not around anymore, and the Boston Bruins, and they certainly are. Out of all that, it's kicked further. In the third period. Last minute to go in the third. Robbery there. Strong wrister. Wow, what a glove save. After being under attack the last sequence, they needed a whistle. Okay, they've got the face-off win. What's next? A big collision in the middle of the ice. Waffle boarded. Hurdles got to shovel it out of there. Wonderful work done near the blue line. Terrific glove save. They're getting all organized now. They're getting ready to strike. Punched away. Puck controlled now by the defense. Puck loose, he couldn't get by. The Sharks have to take a chance here. They pull their goalie. Open ice hitting is not dead. Most of the time, the hits that you can lay are along the boards where you can angle somebody out of the play. Every once in a while, you get to... Net open! Score! That empty net goal will send the fans to the exits. Everybody can exhale a little bit now once the empty netter goes in. That pretty well wraps it up. And they take that neutral zone face off. Got in the way of that one. Game three and the scales have tipped in their favor. They want to carry that momentum into game four. The tie has been broken. We obviously feel good about the win. Now the pressure is on their opponents to answer back in the next game. So as the tournament rolled on, energized play ended only by a final horn. Good night from all of us.